Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so uh, this video uh, is to cover section 2.2 about remainder theorem, factor theorem, and zeros of polynomials. Okay, so at the end of this lecture, students should be able to use the remainder and factor theorems find the roots of the equations and zeros of polynomials. Okay, so firstly, we will look at remainder theorem. Okay, what is a remainder theorem? Okay, by the definition, when, when a polynomial Px is divided by a linear factor x minus 1, then the remainder of the, then the remainder is P A. Okay, so that is the definition. So now let's look at an example. Let's say I give you one equation of polynomial. fx equal to 2x power of 3 minus x square plus 4x plus 1. Okay. This is the equation for polynomials. And now I want to divide these polynomials with x, x plus 2. Okay. Without doing the long division process, I want to know what is the remainder from the division. Okay, this can be done by using the remainder theorem. Okay, in the remainder theorem, let's say we substitute x plus 2. Okay, we substitute x plus 2 into the function of fx. So, x plus 2 is actually equal to 0 then x equal to negative 2 okay then we substitute the negative 2 into the function so that's become f negative 2 equal to 2 power of 3 minus negative 2 square and lastly plus 1 okay so we solve this equation and we should have negative 16 minus 4 minus 8 plus 1 and we have final answer is equal to negative 27 okay what is meant by the negative 27 so negative 27 is actually the remainder from the division of the equation with x plus 2 okay what i mean here let's say if you do long division 2 x power 3 minus x square plus 4 x plus 1 and you do long division x plus 2 like just like the process you learn from uh, my previous video and finally you should get the remainder equal to 27 okay so that is the um, things that being told by the remainder theorem okay let's Let's look at another example is to find the remainder of okay this is another example remainder of x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 when divided with equation a x plus 2 okay I want you to find the remainder without using the long division Okay, the method is to use the remainder theorem. So, we substitute f negative 2. Negative 2 comes from the positive 2. Okay, this positive 2. And then equal to negative 2 cube minus 3 negative 2 square plus 6 negative 2 minus 2. And then you just solve do all the subtractions negative 8 minus 12 minus 12 minus 2 and we have our answer to negative 34 so this is our remainder okay remainder theorem helps us a lot to find the remainder from a long division without doing the long process and difficult long division okay another example also comes from the same uh, equation same polynomials 
but with different divisor that is x minus 1 ok so x minus 1 we make it equal to 0 so x will be equal to 1 ok so we substitute the value of 1 into our polynomial so f 1 1 cube minus 3 1 square plus 6 1 minus 2 and then you should have 1 minus 3 plus 6 minus 2 and the remainder is equal to 2 ok next example let's say we are given that when a polynomial px equal to 3x cubed plus mx minus 6 is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is 8 now find the value of m ok so we know the divisor is x minus 2 so we have x equal to 2 so we substitute value of 2 into the polynomial so p 2 3 2 cube plus m 2 minus 6 and it is told here when divided by x minus 2 the remainder is equal to 8 so this p2 will be equal to 8 ok so we can uh, simplify this 24 plus 2m minus 6 equal to 8 so we have 2m equal to negative 10 and we have m equal to negative 5 so that we have our value of m that is equal to negative 5 ok um, another example we have x power of 4 plus 4x cubed plus px square plus qx plus 5 is divided by x square minus 1 the remainder is 2x plus 3 find the value of p and q ok so for this equation what we have is we have x square minus 1 and we equal this to 0 so we have x square equal to 1 so then x equal to plus minus sorry plus minus square root of 1 so we have x equal to plus minus 1 okay, so we have our two value of x that give the same remainder that is 2x plus 1 so we have x equal to 1 x equal to negative 1 ok that means we have p1 equal to 1 power of 4 plus 4 1 power of 3 plus p 1 square q 1 plus 5 and it gives the remainder of 2x plus 3 ok we try to solve for this part for a while ok uh, for 2x plus 3 that also can be that also can be substituted by 1 so it will become 2, 1 plus 3. Okay, what we have is equal to 1 plus 4 plus P plus Q plus 5 equal to 2 plus 3. And that's give us P plus Q equal to negative 5. So this we mark it as our first equation. Okay, for P1. Okay, next, what we need to do is we substitute P negative 1. So that we will have a simultaneous equation after this. So P negative 1, negative 1, 4, 4 plus 4, negative 1 cube plus P negative 1 square plus Q negative 1 plus 5, 2 negative 1 plus 3. Ok, so we will have uh, 1 minus 4 plus P minus Q plus 5 negative 2 plus 3. And we will have here is P minus Q equal to negative 1. And this will be our second equation. So, uh, what I want to do is, I want to take our first equation, 
plus our second equation. So that will be P plus Q okay, equal to negative 5 plus P minus Q equal to negative 1. And that gives us equation of 2P equal to negative 6. So we can solve that 2P equal to negative 6, so P equal to negative 3. And then we substitute back our P into a second equation. So negative 3 minus Q equal to negative 1. So we have Q equal to negative 2. Okay, so now we have found the value of P and value of Q. So this equation, this question is complete. Okay, uh, next, let's look at about factor theorem. Okay, a factor theorem, uh, the de by definition, if the remainder from dividing the polynomial Px by x minus a is 0, then the linear term x minus a must be a factor of the polynomial. Okay, let me show you an example. Okay, let's say I give you a function fx equal to 3x cubed, 2x square minus 3x minus 2, divided by 3x plus 2. Okay, now we want to know whether the 3x plus 2 is a factor for the function fx or not. Okay, the method is just the same as the remainder theorem, but now we have to make sure that the remainder is equal to 0. So we have here 3x plus 2 equal to 0, and then we have x equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay, we substitute the negative 2 over 3 into our function. So have f negative 2 over 3 equal to 3 cube plus 2 minus 3 and minus 2. Okay, now let's solve this one and we have negative 24 over 27 plus 8 over 9 plus 6 over 3 and minus 2. Okay, we simplify that we we show that the denominator is in the same number 24 over 27 plus 54 over 27 minus 2. And finally, we have equal to 0. Okay, we can say that the 0 is the remainder because the process is just the same as the process of remainder theorem. Okay, but usually in a remainder theorem, we have a value for our final answer. So that value is the remainder. Okay. If the value is equal to zero, okay, if the value is equal to zero, so that means there is no remainder. When there is no remainder, then our divisor right here, 3x plus 2, is called as the factor of fx. So which also means if we factorize fx, yeah, okay, we factorize 3x cubed plus 2x square minus 3x minus 2. And one of the factor should be 3x plus 2. Okay, the others are still uh, need to be found. Okay, but 3x plus 2 will be one of our factorize. Okay, um, next example, another example, we have polynomial tx power of 4 plus 3x cubed plus 2x square plus x minus 8. And the question said that the polynomial can be divided by x plus 1. And then we have to find the value of t. Okay, what is meant by the can be divided is that when divided by x plus 1, it gives uh, no remainder. So when no remainder, we can just say, we can conclude that x plus 1 is a factor of polynomial px. So can be divided means no remainder. Okay. So in order to find the value of 
t so we substitute p with negative 1 so negative 1 comes from x plus 1 so equal to t negative 1 power of 4 plus 3 negative 1 cube plus 2 negative 1 square plus negative 1 minus 8 and no remainder is a factor so it equals to 0 Okay, so we solve this one. So we have t minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 8 equal to 0. And we have t equal t minus 10 equal to 0. And we have t equal to 10. So we have our value, our answer for t. So t will be equal to 10. Okay, so let's look at another example. Show that x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 13x minus 15. Hence, factorize x cubed plus 3x squared minus 13x minus 15. Okay, what we need to do, given that x minus 3 is a factor so, we have one of the answer for factorization, only one part of it. Okay. Show that first we have to show x minus 3 is a factor. So, we substitute f with 3. So, we have 3 cubed plus 3 square minus 13 minus 15. And then, we have 27 plus 27 minus 39 minus 15 so we have here is equal to 0 so when it is equal to 0 we have shown that x minus 3 is a factor okay next is to factorize x power of 3 so this polynomial is in the degree of 3 it's in the degree of 3 so we cannot uh, factorize directly from that but we know that x minus 3 is a factor of the polynomial. So, now we have to reduce the degree of the po this polynomial into x to the power of 2. Then, from that, we can easily factorize the equation. So, how can we reduce the degree of the polynomial? Okay, the method is to perform a long division okay, to find the quotient. Now, let's do the long division, x cubed plus 3, x square minus 13, x minus 15. Okay, now we do long division, so we choose x square, then we have x cubed minus 3, x square. So, that's mean we have here is 6, x square minus 13, x. So, next we take 6, x. So we have 6x square minus 18x. So we have 5x minus 15. Okay, then we take plus 5. And then we have 5x minus 15. And both are equal to 0. So there is no remainder from that uh, long division. So it is true that x minus 3 is a factor. So, on the left side, we did a factor theorem. We substitute 3 into the function and we get it equal to 0 and show that it is a factor. On the right side, we did a long division and show that long division gives no remainder. So, that is x minus 3 is a factor for that poly polynomial. Okay, from the long division, what we can see here we have re reduced the polynomial into x squared plus 6x plus 5. So that means now the initial polynomial equation x cubed plus 3x squared minus 13x minus 15 is actually has been factorized into the degree of x squared. x minus 3 x square plus 6x plus 5. Okay, so that is one uh, step of from factorization. So if you expand back the x minus 3, 
multiply back with the x square plus 6x plus 5, you will b uh, get back the initial polynomial equation okay, of the x power of 3, the degree of 3. So, we have done one part of the factorization process. We have taken out x minus 3 from the long polynomial equation. So, what we need to do next is to factorize the x square plus 6x plus 5. So, this can be done easily since the x is in the degree of power of 2. So, we can get x minus 3 and x plus 1 and x plus 5. So, that is our answer from, from the factorization of the polynomial with the degree x power of 3. Okay, another example for factor theorem. Okay, the question wants us to factorize completely of polynomial x power of 3 minus 4 x square plus x plus 6. Okay, this equation is in the degree of 3. So, it cannot be uh, factorized directly without knowing one of the factor. So, how can we get one of the factor? Okay, the method is to perform try and error. Okay, we look at the final term of this polynomial that is 6. Okay, find all factor of 6. Okay, all factor of 6. So, 6, we can get 6 from multiplication of positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive and negative 6. Okay, we can get 6 from multiplication of these numbers. 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, 1 multiply 6, we get 6. 2 multiply by 3, we get 6. Okay, so that is the factor of number 6. Okay, what we do next is to perform try and error. So, we try. First, we try substitute with positive 1. We take from the factor and substitute it into the polynomial. So, P1 will be equal to 1 power of 3 minus 4 1 square plus 1 plus 6 okay so from here we get that it will be equal to 4 so that means there is a remainder from substitution of 1 into the polynomial so when there is a remainder it is not a factor so it's not equal to 0 so then x minus 1 is not a factor for the polynomial. So, next we choose another factor of 6 and substitute it into the polynomial. So, now let's try P2. Let's start with P2. So, we have 2 cubed minus 4, 2 square plus 2 plus 6. Okay, for this one, we get it, it is equal to 0. So, we get 0, no remainder, so it is a factor. Okay, when it's a factor, so we can write down x minus 2 is a factor. Okay, so now everything is good. We have one of the factor for the polynomial. What we do next is to reduce the degree of the polynomial into the power of 2. How do we do that? How to reduce is to perform a long division. So, x minus 2, x cubed minus 4, x square plus x plus 6. Okay, so x square, then we get x cubed minus 2x square. So, we have negative 2x squared plus x and then negative 2x, negative 2x squared plus 4x. We have 3, negative 3x three plus 6. Okay, and then lastly, we choose negative 3 and negative 3x three plus 6. So, that gives us no remainder. So, you can double check your answer that x negative 2 whether it's a factor or not by using factor theorem or 
and by using long division. Okay, so we have reduced the polynomial into the uh, degree of 2. So we have x cubed minus 4x square plus x plus 6 is equal to x minus 2 x square minus 2x minus 3 we have the quotient right over there so we can factorize the quotient of x square minus 2x minus 3 and that is x minus 3 and x plus 1 ok so now we have completely factorized the polynomial equation ok the next example we want to look at is the expression x cubed plus a x square minus bx minus 10 leave a remainder of 5 when divided by x plus 3 and divisible by x minus 2 find a and b ok mention that it gives remainder of 5 when divided by x plus 3 ok that is our first equation then we take the function k okay, or the polynomial and we substitute it with negative 3 comes from the x plus 3 this one, this one. and it will give a remainder of 5 so that's mean negative 3 cube minus b negative 3 minus 10 and give a remainder of 5 so it will be equal to 5 uh, following the remainder theorem okay so we expand all the powers and the brackets so that's mean we have negative 27 plus 9a plus 3b minus 10 so equal to 5 then we have 9a plus 3b will be equal to 42 okay so let's say this we mark it as our first equation okay then for second equation that follows the factor theorem because stated in the question the polynomial is divisible by x minus 2 so we have f we substitute it with positive 2 equal to 8 plus 4a minus 2 b minus 10 equal to 0 because the equation mentioned it is divisible by x minus 2 then we have 4a minus 2b that is equal to 2 so okay this is our second equation okay now we have two unknowns and we have two equations that's mean we are ready to find the value of a and b okay i take the second equation 4a minus 2b equal to 2 then my a is equal to 2 plus 2b over 4 then i substitute this into the first equation 9 2 plus 2b over 4 plus 3b equal to 40 so that's mean I have 9 plus 9b okay, because I uh, simplify this to be become 1 1 and comes 2 and then uh, plus 6b equal to 84 then I have my answer for b that is equal to 5 then for a so a will be equal to i take this equation it will be equal to uh, 1 plus 5 over 2 then a will be equal to 3 okay this is the example okay next example let's do one of the example from the reference book okay you can turn to your reference book or uh, scroll down through the soft copy of topics 2 okay from example 2.11 the polynomial px give a remainder 40 when divided by x minus 3 and x plus 3 so means give remainder of 40 when divided by x minus 3 and x plus 3 
and it gives a zero when divided by x minus one, x minus two, and x minus three. So this uh, means x minus one, x minus two, and x plus two is the factor of the polynomial because it gives a value of zero when divided by those numbers. Given that px is of degree four, find px. So that means x must be to the power of four. The highest degree is to the power of four. Okay. So how can we find the polynomial of p from the given uh, remainder of four and from the given factors? Okay. Now let's first look at the factors. Okay. We have factor of x minus one x minus 2 x plus 2 okay since the question tells us that px is the degree of 4 so that means there must be four factors that come out from the <coughs> from the polynomial okay x minus 1 so we right now we only have three that means we are missing one factor so we have to find that one factor lah. okay first let expand from the given factors so when we expand this one we have x minus 1 and x square minus 4 so we have here is x cube minus x square minus 4x plus 4 so this is the equation of the polynomial in the power of 3 so means we are missing another factor that need to be multiplied with the equation so we label another factor as x plus a so a is the thing that we need to find okay in order to find value of a we look at at the remainder theorem from information given 40 when divided by x minus 3 and x plus 3 so both give the same remainder so just let's take uh, x minus 3 equal to 0 so x equal to 3 so let's do p 3 equal to uh, 3 cube minus 3 square minus 4 3 plus 4 and we have 3 plus a and it, it, will, be, it will be equal to 4 t as the remainder Okay, so let's expand this one. Let's mean we have 27 minus 9 minus 12 plus 4, 3 plus a equal to 40. So, uh, that's mean we have right here is 10, 3 plus a equal to 40 okay we can simplify the first bracket and becomes equal to 10 and then we have 30 3 plus a equal to 40 over 10 so 3 plus a equal to 4 okay then a equal to 1 so we have our value of a is equal to so to one so that's mean right here the bracket must be x plus one okay so but the question wants us to find the polynomial okay to find the polynomial but now we only have the factor of the polynomials so what we need to do is we return back to all the factors where x to the power of three s cube minus x square minus 4x plus 4 and take x plus 1 now it becomes x plus 1 so we just expand it as usual so it becomes x power 4 plus x cube minus x cube minus x square minus 4x square minus 4x plus 4x plus 4 okay i need to make sure that i wrote that right Okay, so now that's mean we have x power 4 equal minus 5x square plus 
form. Okay, so this is the equation of the polynomials and we can see that the x is to the power of 4. So, the polynomial right now is in the degree of 4. Okay, for those who are wondering, okay, about the another information given that x plus 3 also give remainder equal to uh, 40 okay what we did before is we use x minus 3 okay you can try it by yourself if you substitute x equal to negative 3 into p negative x sorry p not p negative x p negative 3 okay you will uh, you will still get the value of a will be equal to one okay you can try it by yourself okay okay so lastly we want to look at into zeros of polynomials okay uh, in the previous section we found about um, factor theorem okay about factor theorem when we substitute the value of factor into the polynomial and the uh, equation of the polynomial will be equal to 0 and the remainder also be equal to 0 okay zeros of polynomials okay zero of polynomial is just about the same as factor of polynomials a factor theorem okay okay this is the definition a is called a zero of polynomial or a root of equation px equal to 0 Okay, what is meant here is that let's say we have a function f x equal to 3 x cubed plus 2 x squared minus 3 x minus 2. Okay. Let's substitute it with uh, x equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay, we substitute x equal to negative 2 over 3 into the function okay. f negative 2 over 3 it will be equal to 3 cube plus 2 square minus 3 minus 2 and we will have negative 24 over 27 plus 8 over 9 plus 6 over 3 and minus 2 and finally will be equal to it will be equal to 0 okay so from our understanding from factor theorem this negative 2 over 3 must comes from 3x plus 2 right okay when we substitute it into the function it will be equal to 0 so we can state that this is the function of sorry this my problem function that will be a factor it will be a factor of the polynomial okay in zeros of polynomials just with a different name this 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3 will be called as the zero of polynomial okay the same thing but just with different name okay if it is written as in the form of 3x plus 2 it will be called as a factor but if it is written just as negative 2 over 3 so it will be called as a zero of polynomial just the same thing when we substitute into the polynomial it gives you equal to zero so you know it's a factor and at the same time it will uh, it can also be called as a zero of polynomial okay so maybe that's all uh, our video for this section so till we meet again